In the meantime, as concerns over the possible negative impact of IPOP's seat at home order mount, governorship candidate of their court party in Anambra, Godwin Madruka, is calling for a peaceful election. He made the appeal when he met with natives of the state living in uh, neighboring Asaba. Jemima Boloko reports. Dr. Godwin Maduka has met with youths, women and men in Asaba Delta State to seek their votes in the election bill to hold on November 6th. He promises to improve the quality of education and health facilities to restructure Anambra State. Education is what produced me. Education will give you knowledge that your parents can't give you. Education will refine you and see what the standard thinking is about. Education will give you interpersonal skills and intrapersonal skills. Education will let you understand the society. So as a governor of Anambra State, education will be very important to me. That's why somebody like me, from a humble beginning, can compete in the world stage. And if I can make it in the world stage, I will make education very important in my agenda so that I can reach another gifted child that couldn't have made it. I'll make sure I produce more God will America in Anambra State. He is also asking for a peaceful and credible election as November 6th poll draws near. I'm pleading with all my brothers, with the federal government, please let the rule of law roll. Okay? I'm begging them to allow the election to hold because I came back home with a message. Please, allow the Anambra state. Time is not on our side. And I don't want to lose this opportunity when I know what I know to help my people cross that bridge. Maduka, after years of investing over $500 million in his people, is asking the people to come out and vote for better governance and sustainable development. Part of our security problem is when you look at our leaders, they're not to be emulated. If you're going to be in public service, you have to work so hard to be emulated. By the time November 6 comes here, you would have heard my message. I didn't come here to be your captain all the time. You're going to be my captain on November 6. Because in Igbo land, they say, yes. Yeah? Yes. Don't tell me I lost my voice talking about what needs to be done and the people coming out. You're going to take this agenda and transfer it on November 6 and make sure that the right governor is produced. But take us out of this hole. I'm the only one that can do it. Why? Because I have the antecedents that nobody else has and don't know it. Jemima Boloko, Arise News.